Hey everyone, I'm your girl Chef Z and on today's episode of Made to Order a la Orden, we are making rabo encendido, which I also like to call stewed oxtails. Now listen, I love this dish and apparently you guys do too because aside from one other recipe, this right here is my number one most requested video. Now I will tell you this, do not make the same mistake that I'm about to make right now, which is making this dish when you're already hungry. And that's because this dish takes a really, 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 I cannot stress that, <laughs> long time to make. And it's one of those dishes that you definitely don't want to rush. In fact, patience is highly rewarded when it comes to this dish because what you end up with is a really juicy, really succulent, fall off the bone meat that is just to die for and all you really need to eat it with is some white rice and maybe even some tostones. Now for my newbie cooks, please do not be afraid of making this dish. I know oxtails can be a little daunting, but if you just take your time and again, have patience, that is the name of the game today, you will also be highly rewarded and you will not regret making this. Let's go ahead and jump right into this recipe. We're going to start off by seasoning the oxtails with some of my favorite ingredients like some fresh onions, some green peppers, a handful of garlic, a tiny bit of cumin, some adobo, some sopita, which you guys know is also a chicken bouillon cube, some Dominican oregano or regular oregano, some sazon, and we're also going to squeeze some fresh limes, which I always think is a must whenever you are seasoning some meat. We're also going to add some freshly grated black pepper and a tiny bit of olive oil at the very end. Now there's a few things you need to know whenever you're seasoning some oxtails, and that's number one, don't be shy to really season it and kind of go ham. And you also really wanna let it marinate for a few hours. At the very minimum, I recommend marinating them for about four hours, but you can definitely marinate them overnight or even up to two days, which is honestly what I like to do whenever I'm making some oxtails. So once your oxtails are nice and marinated, we're now going to heat up a pot really really hot and then we're going to add some oil making sure the oil also gets really hot and we're going to add the oxtails now rabo is characterized by that super dark deep rich brown color and we build the color by browning our oxtails and braising them on high heat which is exactly what we're doing right now now you can definitely caramelize a little bit of sugar in order to help build that color as well so once our oxtails are nice and brown, or at least starting to get brown, we're going to add some water into the same bowl where they were marinating, and we're going to add them to the oxtails because we're now going to begin to braise it, which is going to continue building that color and extracting all those awesome flavors that we use to marinate the meat. So we're going to give that a quick stir and once that sauce begins to simmer after about 5 to 10 minutes, the oxtails are actually going to look as though they're done, but trust me, they're not. And we're going to add just a tiny bit of tomato paste, which is going to do the most awesome thing to the sauce. It's going to slightly thicken the sauce and it's also going to make the sauce super delicious and it's also going to pay off at the very, very end. So once that's all mixed in, we're now going to add a ton of water. You want to add enough water so that the oxtails are completely covered in that water and we're also going to add some fresh recao. Now we're going to stew the rabo for about two hours and you want to keep an eye on it making sure to add more and more water as the water begins to dry up and if possible you might even have to skim some extra fat off the top depending if your oxtails are a little on the fattier side. We're then going to add some hot pepper and you can use whatever hot pepper you like and make it as spicy as you like. I love using a Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper whenever I'm making some rabo. I add a little bit of water because even though it's been stewing for two hours, we're also going to stew it for an additional 30 minutes. And after those 30 minutes, we're gonna take out the hot pepper and we're going to let the sauce thicken for like about another five minutes. And once your rabo is all nice and done, we're now going to add the final and the finishing touches, which is one of my favorite parts. We're gonna add a dash of vinegar into some onions and some peppers, and we're gonna add it right into the oxtails. Not everybody is different. I love keeping my onions and peppers a little bit on the crunchy side so I only cook it for like an additional two more minutes and let the steam do the rest of the work but feel free to cook them until they get soft so there you guys have it 
my recipe for some harawa and sandio. I hope you enjoyed this oxtail recipe. Be sure to visit my website, follow me on social media, and I'll see you next week with an all new video. Buen provecho, guys! When they tell you that there's oxtails for dinner, tell me you don't act a fool. Like, I'm acting a fool right now. And I can't, because I'm supposed to, like, you know, hey guys, welcome to the channel. But no, it's freaking oxtails today.